Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy fried rice recipe. It is so easy because you only need one pan and it does not take long at all. So if you want to make some delicious fried rice with me, keep watching. Now first and foremost, when you are making fried rice, you need some cooked and cooled rice to actually make it with. You do not want to make fried rice with freshly cooked rice. It's going to turn mushy and just not come out right so if I know I'm making fried rice for dinner I like to make my rice um, at lunchtime or a little earlier and put it in the refrigerator and give it time to cool so make sure you have your cooked and cooled rice ready before you start this recipe so now that we got that out of the way, we can get started. I am starting by adding about two tablespoons of vegetable oil to my pan along with half of a yellow onion that I have already chopped. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic and then I'm going to stir that and let it cook over medium heat for about three minutes. Next, we're going to add in some frozen peas and carrots. This is a 12 ounce bag and I'm going to use about half of the bag, but feel free to use more if you would like. You just wanna let those cook a couple of minutes until they are mostly thawed out. Next, we're going to add in three cups of cooked rice. I used jasmine rice for this recipe, but feel free to use regular, just plain white rice as well. Next you want to stir that together well and then I'm going to start seasoning the rice. I'm just going to add some seasoned salt and black pepper. And now we're going to add some eggs to our rice. So instead of using another pan, I'm just going to clear out a space right in the middle of the rice. I'm going to crack two eggs and just scramble them right there with the rice. Once the eggs are done, we are just going to mix it in with the rest of the rice. Then you're going to add in half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now be careful and make sure you don't add too much because that has a very, very strong flavor. Then you're going to add about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix that together and just let it keep cooking. And for the last step, I'm going to add in about three green onions that I have chopped very small. Mix that up and then it is ready to be served. So I told y'all this recipe is super simple and it is so good. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.